We are on the verge of achieving a technical milestone not seen since maybe the invention of agriculture, the capacity to eternally replicate our labors. If you haven't been believing that AI robots are the future, 2024 will change your mind. Because when Tesla announced the Optimus Gen 2, it didn't just show its new invention, but also its newest employee. We're in for a real treat this year, so stay tuned till the end to learn how the Tesla bot is the future of manufacturing. But what exactly is the Tesla bot? To truly understand the Tesla bot, or Optimus Gen 2, we have to go back in time. Elon Musk mentioned the Tesla bot in 2021 when the Tesla Optimus project was initiated. A robot that would replace humanity. Well, not really, but it would take all the boring and potentially dangerous workloads from us. According to Elon, this bot will be able to accomplish things that people dislike, including cleaning the house, taking out the trash, or working in factories. While the concept of a humanoid robot performing all the risky tasks sounded great in theory, the first versions of the robot were rather different. Tesla has showcased various versions of their humanoid bots, the first being Bumblebee in September of 2022, but that poor thing couldn't even walk or wave its hands. A few months down the road, we saw the unveiling of yet another prototype, this one named the Optimus Gen 1. Gen 1 had many advantages over the first one, including a more human-like design, the ability to select objects and maintain equilibrium, and the ability to wave its hands and head. But still, the robot needed wheels to get to the stage as it couldn't walk alone. Then we saw Optimus Gen 2 in December of 2023, the most recent Tesla bot, and this one is really promising. Yes, well, Tesla isn't bringing the robots from Star Wars to life, but 2024 will be remembered as the year of the Tesla bot. The demo video for this robot showed the bot walking 30% faster and with considerably better motion. It also has movable toe parts, which gives it a lot more of a human feel. The robot itself is 10 kilograms lighter and features a two-axis rotatable neck. With enhanced actuators developed by Tesla, the new arms can move faster and have 11 joints. But the most remarkable improvement is the inclusion of precise tactile sensitivity for every finger, enabling a level of deft manual manipulation. Not only that, Tesla claims the redesigned Gen 2 body is more balanced and offers superior full body control, and it now encases all of this. The fact it can now squat too so effortlessly is a huge hint at how much better the joints are on this thing. So how did Tesla make this leap? Well, you've heard the phrase, if you want it done right, do it yourself. Tesla made a huge splash by bringing actuator production in-house. In March, Tesla claimed that the Optimus Gen 1's superior performance compared to the 2020 launch model Bumblebee was due to the team's decision to manufacture these sensitive components in-house instead of relying on off-grid suppliers. That is where Tesla gets to showcase its skill in fleeting moments. When we saw the smooth movement in the robot's neck, subtitles said a 2DOF actuated joint had been added to the neck, and the fingers now had an incredible 11DOF. In this context, DOF means degrees of freedom, which in mechanics is an axis along which an item can move. This means those fingers are highly articulate, and because of this new neck joint, which allows the neck to swivel to the left and right and pitch forward and backward, the movements were so good that people thought they were fake, and the developers of Optimus had to step in and verify that they were all real. But what's more impressive is whatever Tesla is using to give the robot the sensation of touch in the fingers. Optimus can now easily handle eggs thanks to the sensors in its fingers. Now, this isn't anything new. Robots have been handling eggs on farms for years, but what's different is that Tesla went for a more human approach, giving the robot a feeling of touch instead of precise coding orders. Optimus can feel its contents and determine the appropriate amount of force to apply to those sensitive new actuators. This is actually very similar to how a human sense of touch works. With Optimus Gen 1, the presenters from Tesla really hammered home the point of their robot's learning algorithms. A few months later, we saw those algorithms in action, with Optimus successfully sorting blocks based on their color. In the future, Tesla could employ the same technology on the robot's feet as well, to sense the surface it's walking on, like humans do. And that's thanks to Tesla's AI improvements. But for now, not much is known about how it works. 
But Elon said that it's quite similar to the full self-driving system in Tesla vehicles, which is something we already know a lot about. Tesla's FSD system learns from recordings, which are hundreds of hours long. It analyzes how drivers act and attempts to mimic it. This is a major update that greatly improves the system's security by mimicking human behavior instead of blindly following predetermined protocol. Now, there are several benefits to applying this to a bot. Rather than relying on sensor data to construct an image of its environment, the Tesla bot makes use of cameras which function as its eyes. Additionally, the AI can learn from human observation rather than having to encode the precise angle of its arms and legs to do a certain task. Neural networks and computer vision allow the robot to navigate, recognize objects, and comprehend its surroundings. The robot can now move, crouch, wave, and even sort things. But what's more impressive is the fact that the robot can communicate with humans using voice, gestures, and facial expressions. The robot can access information and data stored in Tesla's network thanks to its internet connectivity. Optimus can smoothly sail through tasks that are considered pretty difficult for bots, like sorting things and handling sensitive items like eggs. After all of this, the Tesla bot is shaping up to be a pretty useful robot. But the question is, we already have so many useful bots. So why make a humanoid? While it's true that we have a lot of robots that have, to some extent, taken the responsibility of monotonous and dangerous tasks away from humans, they've been one-trick ponies. Fill a glass bottle, line up the containers, clean the room, throw the ball, the list is endless. They are very efficient in performing these tasks and have been at the heart of many economies for years, but give a robot any other task than their usual work and you'll see how useless they are for you. This is where humanoids come into play. We've seen relatively few humanoid robots during that time outside of all the science fiction movies, and while they have substituted certain human tasks, they've not entirely supplanted humans. Bots driven by artificial intelligence could replace boring and dangerous human tasks in the workforce. To illustrate the point, consider a sports car. It's superb at racing at high speeds, but awful at everything else. Currently, that's the majority of robots. Now imagine a car that's as fast as a sports car, but also comfortable to drive in traffic. That's the goal of the humanoid robot. It aspires to multitask by being flexible and allowing the task to dictate its actions in every given situation. I'm sure you're starting to see why this robot is so revolutionary and so important, but there's also another thing to consider. It's an invention, and inventions are only as good as their applications. Luckily, the Tesla bot shines even in this space. So, what's the potential use of this new robot? Well, it could have numerous practical applications, which would benefit both society and Tesla. The robot can aid Tesla in streamlining its production processes by tackling tasks that are repetitive, precise, and potentially dangerous, like material handling, quality inspection, and part assembly. Another way Tesla might diversify its product offerings and revenue sources is by selling or leasing the robot to other companies and individuals. Robots can improve human efficiency and well-being by handling difficult or repetitive domestic tasks, including cooking, cleaning, grocery shopping, and gardening. People who need assistance, such as the elderly, people with special needs, or those who live alone, can receive it from the robot, along with companionship, care, education, and amusement. And if everything works out as planned, the Tesla bot will have a profound impact on our daily lives and economy. Now, humanoid robots aren't anything new either. We've already had the Boston Dynamics Atlas, which was revealed back in 2013. There's one key difference between the two that gives Tesla bot the win, and that's their learning algorithms. The Atlas, even though it's way older than the Tesla bot, still relies on machine learning, or coding from some very clever engineers, while Elon has made that process completely automatic with AI learning. This makes the Tesla bot far more useful in everyday life compared to the Atlas. Now the only thing left to do is make sure a robot doesn't replace our lives, because one's coming really soon to a factory near you. Well, luckily, Elon and Boston Dynamics have both been adamant about preventing any scenarios where we'd experience Terminator in real life, so it's all good, right? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.